America may be about to place sanctions onto India. The Indian Prime Minister will visit Russia in a few days for the first time since Russia invaded Ukraine. Russia says this meeting will discuss relevant issues on the international agenda. You may know that India has signed a 10-year agreement with Iran and it means that India is going to be trading huge amounts of resources with Russia and Iran. And India is building the new Iranian shipping port, which is going to create new global shipping routes. Now, just a month ago, Russia announced they will be sending record amounts of coal to India using this shipping lane. Russia said they'll be sending 73.2 million tons of coal to India, worth tens of billions of dollars. And because India is siding with the East over the West, the US may want to place sanctions onto India for doing this. Although it's worth noting that those sanctions probably won't do much as India has started trading with the East now. In fact, India actually took the place of Europe and started buying Russian oil after Europe stopped buying... Re to watch the full video, you can... <laughs> so, so there you go, man. And even then, um, those Indians, what should I say, those East Indians over there, they're literally, um, they come from the line of Elam. I'm going to say Elam, I mean... <clears throat> and Elamite, just like the Persians or the Iranians, man. It's just the same people, the same as um, the Pakistanis as well. <clears throat> and it looks like the Lord's pushing them to come together, <laughs> to rise up against Babylon, man. I mean, wait, we already know what Second Address says, man, concerning the Carmenians, and also concerning the nation of the dragons of Arabia. I'm already on, I'm already on it. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Here we go. Zeke, second, okay, second edge of 15 and 28. is a beholding horrible vision. And the parents are from the east. And keep in mind, man, Ezra, or the great way of saying Ezra is Edris. He saw this in a vision, man. And what he did was write it up, write it playing upon tables. I want to say right playing up on tables, meaning he wrote it in a scroll. And then these scrolls were passed down until it was written again in a book. Or should I say in a collection of books? <clears throat> and carrying on, it says where well, the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, chariots being vehicles, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble, and yeah, when I read this, I envision those Arabians or <clears throat> the sons of Ishmael literally doing their little war cry when, <laughs> you know, we know what that is, that they'll be going Woo! along the lines of Batman. <clears throat> and imagine, imagine how many people they're going to be, man, because the scriptures talk about and great company is going to be joined with Russia, man. <clears throat> so imagine all together chanting. It's, it's, it's going to sound terrifying, man, to the enemy. <clears throat> well, mainly to the um, the Amalekites or the ones who call themselves <clears throat> the tribe of Judah, but are not from the tribe of Judah, but do lie, but are from the synagogue of Satan, or from the lineage of. Esau Edom, <clears throat> which Amalek is um the grandson of es Esau Edom, <coughs> and that's where and that's where those Israel Israelis come from. <clears throat> and even then, there's Arabs or Ishmaelites calling themselves Israeli. So, <laughs> and there's Ethiopians or Cushites calling themselves Israeli. 
So it's, it's as simple as this. <clears throat> you got the sons and daughters of Ishmael over there. You got the sons and daughters of Amalek over there. And you got the sons and daughters of um, Kush over there. All up in the land. <clears throat> I'm carrying on. Yeah. This is also the Carmelians raging in wrath. Going to, like I may mention, the Iranians. Or you could even say <clears throat> people from the nation of Elam shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Basically, um, I always make reference to this video. And what I saw in this video was um, a whole bunch of boars running in the wood. They were basically stampeding and it, it looked like an army charging into battle. And it says, and with great power shall they come and join battle with them. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. So yeah, man. They, they're going to be allies. And they're going to join together. To create that big company. <clears throat> or you could even. Literally say allies. Because that's what company goes into. When it makes mention of a great company. In um, Ezekiel chapter 38. It's talking about it's allies or friendship. Or companions. <clears throat> and also, yeah, man. To get understanding in verse 30, because like it says, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Syrians. And anyone who doesn't have the spirit, well, they will like... <laughs> so basically, they're going to be attacking the land of Assyria. No. Literally, that name has been given to America. And the reason why is because... The same way the Lord literally, <clears throat> what's, what's the word called? Um, yeah, because the Lord literally did his wrath upon Assyria and also these other places like Nineveh, Sodom and Gomorrah, <clears throat> and what else is the um, ancient Babylon? Like these names have been given to America because the Lord's going to do the same thing, man. He's going to take them out of power. Our rulership is going to bring it down to the ground. And you know what? Let me quickly get that. Zechariah, no, Zephaniah, here we go. Zephaniah 2 and 13. And it says, And he will stretch out his hand against the north, being North America, and destroy Assyria, and will make Nineveh a desolation and dry like a wilderness. And these names have been given to America, man. And <laughs> you find that when you continue reading. It says, And flock shall lie down in the midst of her. All the beasts of the nations, both the commandment and the bitten, shall lodge in the upper lintels of it. The voice shall sing in the windows, desolation shall be in the thresholds. For, for he shall uncover the cedar work. <laughs> and this is the clue right here. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am a nun. So, okay, I am, and there is none else beside me. How will she become a desolation, a, a place for bees to lie down in? Everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his hand. <clears throat> and good old Jeremiah 15 and 18, like it says here, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, you have a bunch of my the power of Yasha Allah, or the twelve tribes of Israel, being the new of the king of the Spanish and Native Americans, including the Mexicans and the similar Indians. Behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land, as I have punished the king of Assyria. And that's why <clears throat> America has been given the name, the land of the Assyrians. And also um, the, the, the Shaudis, <clears throat> which the Shaudis were the ancient. Warlocks and witches and magi in um, ancient Babylon. And that name has been given to America as well. And the reason why is because the enchantments, the witchcraft, the sorcery. <clears throat> like he says here, man. Yeah, actually, no, let me, let me read um, 22. Let me go to verse 22. It says, A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? 
How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found, and also caused. <laughs> oh, man. And there goes that saying. You're caught with your pants down. <laughs> uh, and it says, because thou hast striven against the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, how sure. <clears throat> and it says the Lord Yahweh Bashab Hashem opened his armory. And the armories were a place where the, the weapons are kept. And I've brought forth the weapons of his indignation and indignation of his righteous anger. For this is the work of the Lord Yahweh Bashab Hashem of hosts in the land of the Shaldeans. Going into America, going into <clears throat> the reason why being them trusting their wickedness, them Trusting in witchcraft. <laughs> like, we all know about Hollywood, man. We know about their secret councils. The secret councils of Esau, Edom. Or, like, in David said, the secret councils of the wicked. <clears throat> and just to name a few of them. Everybody knows about the Illuminati. Um, the Freemasons. Which Bishop Nathaniel was a part of. He's, he's definitely a Mason. <clears throat> and then you got um, what's it called um, Skull and Bones, the Jesuits, um, Bohemian Grove, um, more than likely, <clears throat> there's probably more than that, because you know how Esau is, he likes to branch off and do his own thing. <clears throat> and yeah, man, in, in these secret councils, <clears throat> that's where they do the sorcery. And their rituals, like it says here, man. Um, here we go. Isaiah twenty nine and fifteen. It says, "Well unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh." And their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knows us? Yeah, <laughs> they'll be doing these things on the ground, they'll be doing things where the, the common people don't go, <clears throat> and so they'll they be buying up all this stuff so they can do these things in secret. <clears throat> and also, let me get this. Yeah, here we go, Psalm 64 and 2. It says, Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. <clears throat> and it says that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, being the Israelites. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? <clears throat> so yeah, they, they lay out these little traps for Israel to get trapped in and fall into. And it says, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and their heart is deep. <clears throat> and yeah, man. <laughs> they literally go out of their way to do these wicked things, man. To get that 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 adrenaline, that adrenaline. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it all at once because you know you know the algorithm is. But yeah, you you already know what I'm talking about, man. The 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 potent blood. The 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 chrome, the adrenaline. You know what I mean? They they be doing crazy things like that, <clears throat> which we know. That's why they need a whole bunch of children. And we know what they be doing over there in, in, in the darkness. And that's another reason why Babylon got to go. Or should I say America's got to go. <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> oh, come on, man. <clears throat> no, let me get something else, man. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember, it, man. Hmm. There we go. Revelation eighteen and let me start off at ten. It says standing afar off of the field of torment saying alas alas that great city of Babylon or America, that mighty city for in one hour is thy judgment come, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys the merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all dying wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood <clears throat> and of brass and iron and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. <clears throat> And that's what can be found in Babylon, man. <laughs> like, like, literally. <clears throat> then, <laughs> I don't even know if I should say this, but, um, yeah, man, as we speak right now, Miss like Edom's got little ones, little ones locked up in cages, and he's doing experiments on them. Going into, um, them going out their way to, Search out evils and iniquity. <clears throat> Hence why they do those those lab testings, man. And the people who they steal, or the people who they pay to get them stolen, they bring all of them over there and then he's all he don't want to do his little testing and do his wickedness. <clears throat> and he thinks, oh, I'm going to do all these things and no one's going to stop me. But the but the Lord sees man. <clears throat> there we go. Ecclesiastes twenty three and nineteen, and it says, "Such a man only the fear of the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men." And considering the most secret parts. <clears throat> so yeah, man. Esau thinks he's going to hide. But now, nah, man, you're going to be exposed. You're going to be caught with your pants down. <laughs> and not only that. Everything that you've been working for, working towards. For example, your enterprise. The NWO. It's going to be taken away. <clears throat> and your land. All those buildings. Those tall buildings that you built up into the sky. Those idols that you made. They're going to be brought down too. But yeah, man. Turn down Babylon. And I want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Jehovah's mouth. Shalom.